Why use an adjustment layer? You may have heard about adjustment layers, but never have thought about what you'd need to use one for. The first thing is that you are able to complete any video edit without needing to use an adjustment layer. So why'd you bother? The simple answer is to save time and effort, an adjustment layer will let you modify multiple clips, or even the whole timeline, with just one action. So what exactly is an adjustment layer? An adjustment layer is a transparent layer that you can add effects to, just like you'd add to standard video clip in the timeline. However, an adjustment layer affects all the clips of the tracks below it, and this allows you to make non-destructive adjustments to colours and effects of all the clips that the adjustment layer overlaps. And this will give you a quick control over edits rather than directly adjusting the individual clips themselves. You can stack multiple adjustment layers to create different effects, and you can turn them on and off at will, or you can have a number of effects in each adjustment layer. However, the bad news is that Final Cut does not ship with any adjustment layers. And in this video, I'll show you how to create your own adjustment layers in Apple's Motion. Otherwise, you can download some free layers that I've produced. The link is in the description below. I'll show you how to download and install the free layers at the end of the video. Then I'll show you how to add them and use them in Final Cut Pro. My name's Bruce, and if you already know me, well, welcome back. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and press the bell, and this will help me make more videos for you. But first, let me show you what an adjustment layer does in Final Cut. The free download from my website has several adjustment layers, a blank layer with no built-in effects, a sharpen layer with a small amount of sharpening built in. There's a broadcast safe layer, a blur 12 layer to soften harsh clips, and a multi-layer which includes a number of different built-in effects that can be turned on and off and adjusted. This project in Final Cut has several clips that all need to be brightened. And to keep it simple, let's drag the blank adjustment layer that's found in the titles in Final Cut's browser and drag that into the timeline. The adjustment layer looks just like a title in the timeline. And in fact, it is a title. That's as far as Final Cut's concerned anyway. And I'll show you at the end of the tutorial how you can make your adjustment layers look different from titles. Now with the layer selected, Select the colour triangle in the inspector. I'll increase the brightness and you'll see all the clips have been lightened. Now I'll add the blur adjustment layer and this has got a 12 level blur built in. Check the inspector under the T tab to adjust the blur or to turn it off entirely if you want to. Now I'll add an effect from the effects browser. Let's use Comic Ink so you can see the changes, but any effect would work. Any adjustment layer can have any number of effects added. You've got the choice of how you use the layers. You can use a blank layer or stack a number of blank layers and add your effects. Or you can have a layer with built-in effects that stack as well. For example, I'll add the broadcast safe above this clip, which is too bright even though the brightness is not obvious to the eye. And by showing the video scopes, you can see the clip is way above the 100 level. And by adding the broadcast safe, it's now corrected. Now I'll stack the blur adjustment clip, and finally the sharpen adjustment clip above that. If I disable the broadcast safe with the V key, the brightness jumps up. If I disable the blur, the sharpener takes over. Now I'll increase the sharpness about so you can see it. You can add effects to any adjustment layer. This look, for example. 
and if you want to make your own adjustment layers in Motion, we'll follow on from here. First of all, open Motion and select a Final Cut Pro title. Change the settings to your preference and your location. I'm selecting Broadcast 1080 HD, 25 frames per second because I'm in a PAL company. But for those in the USA, you'd be selecting NTSC. Select a duration of 30 seconds, and this makes it long enough for big projects where you can still see it, but then not too long for your small projects. To keep things simple, this first adjustment layer template is going to be blank, so I can add my effects when I'm in Final Cut Pro. All I need to do is remove the title itself by selecting it in the sidebar and deleting it. And that's the only change needed for this adjustment layer. Now to save it to be used in Final Cut Pro. From the File menu, select Save. Give the template a title. We'll call it Empty Adjustment Layer. In the Category field, select New Category at the bottom. Name the category New Adjustment Layer. You could create or select a theme if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. I've got a theme here called From Motion, so that I can recognise the templates that I've created, but that's over to you. Click Publish. Now I'll move over to Final Cut Pro so you can see the template that's just been created. Select Titles, New Adjustment Layer, and drag the empty adjustment layer into the timeline and we'll add a colour correction. You can add as many adjustment layers as you like for different effects, or as you saw earlier, you can add multiple effects to a single adjustment layer. And here are several empty layers that are stacked, so you can add individual effects to them. As I said previously, different layers give you the benefit of being able to turn them on and off to see which effect you want to retain. Remember the V key to hide and show. And if you want to use this separate layer approach, it'd be good to have them labelled with the type of effect that they contain. You need to go back to Motion to do that. Now we're back in Motion, I'll create those new blank layers and label them separately. And since they're all blank layers, all you need to do is select Save As from the File menu and add the new title. I'll label this one Color Effects. Add it to the new Adjustment Layer category and publish. And you can make as many more as you like. Another could be titled Effects, your decision. From the file menu, save as. The template name is Effects and the category is New Adjustment Layer. And to be clear, these are all blank layers, just the titles being changed for your organisation and quick recognition when you're working in Final Cut Pro. And as a note, if you make changes to a template already open in Motion, a simple save will secure those changes for use in Final Cut Pro. And so far, so good. I hope you're keeping up with me. Now let's take everything up a level. Why not add a default effect to an adjustment layer so it can be applied directly in Final Cut with no further action required from you, but allow for modification anyway? And consider these. You can add sharpening to all your clips in Final Cut Pro, or a broadcast safe filter, or even a frequently used LUT. For this exercise though, I'm going to make a multi-effect adjustment layer, so you'll be able to select all those different effects and modify them on the fly in Final Cut Pro. You could equally have separate templates for each of these effects. I can continue to work with this current blank template in Motion and add all of those effects and make sure they can be turned on and off in Final Cut, also making sure they can be modified in Final Cut. To add an effect to the template, make sure that the playhead is at the beginning of the project. And these next steps are important. Select the group in the sidebar. Select Filter. Select Blur and then Gaussian Blur. Select the Gaussian Blur in the sidebar. Select the Inspector. Select Filters. If you hover over the top of the Gaussian Blur to the right, you'll see a downward chevron. Select Publish. 
And to be clear, any time that you select publish at the top, this ensures that the effect can be activated or deactivated in Final Cut Pro. And then you publish the options so you can modify them in Final Cut Pro. Now select the amount of blur that you'd like as the default in the adjustment layer. I've selected 12 because I just want a minor softening of a harsh clip. But remember, it can still be modified in Final Cut Pro. However, the whole point of this exercise of adjustment layers is to do things as quickly as possible and make as little change as needed. In order to be able to change the amount of blur in Final Cut Pro, you need to publish this option as well. To the far right, you'll see another downward chevron and select Publish. You can publish any other options that you wish. I usually publish all of them so I can modify everything within Final Cut Pro. But the downside to that is that you'll have lots of choices you may never use. So over to you. I'll now save this template and call it Blur 12. Add it to the new Adjustment Layer category and Publish. Now to make the Multi Adjustment Layer. I'm going to add a number of effects to the already selected Gaussian Blur. So select Group, select Filter, select Sharpen. Make sure the effect is able to be activated and deactivated in Final Cut Pro by publishing on the right at the top. Select the amount of sharpening you want and publish. Now publish each parameter that you want to modify. This next effect is really useful. It can save a real amount of time in Final Cut. Because when you're adding a LUT in Final Cut Pro, there's a number of steps that are needed for each clip in the timeline. A LUT adjustment layer can reduce them to just one step, but this works best when you've mainly only got one LUT that you use. It'll not be useful if you change LUTs frequently. I'm going to add the LUT to this multi-effect template. Select Group in the sidebar. Select Filters. Select Color. Select Custom LUT. And over in the Inspector, with the Filters tab selected, first make sure that the effect is published. It's currently got none in the LUT field. Click the Downward Chevron. Choose Custom LUT and select the LUT in your finder. Publish the other parameters that you want to be able to modify. It's useful to note that each of these effects has a blue tick selected. And this means that it'll be active when you use the adjustment layer in Final Cut. If you want it to be inactive by default, but able to be turned on, well, untick it here. I'll only untick the custom LUT so you can see what happens when you use the layer in Final Cut Pro. And now we're back in Final Cut. Add the adjustment layer to the timeline. You'll notice some differences from the blank adjustment layer where you added the effects from within Final Cut Pro. With the blank adjustment layer, the modifications in the inspector were made with the Film Strip tab. I've selected the previously used adjustment layer with the Comet Look effect added. And see that the modifications are made within the Film Strip tab. Now when I select the multi-layer adjustment, you'll see the effects are not under the Film Strip tab, but under the T tab. And notice that only Sharpen and Gaussian Blur are actively ticked. The custom LUT is unticked, and so it's inactive. But it can be ticked at any time to make it active. The various parameters that were published are also able to be changed, but those not published don't show so they don't clog up your interface. Should you want to make permanent changes to any adjustment layer, right-click in the browser and open in motion. Make the changes you want, then simply save in the file menu. And to be clear, these changes will only apply to any future use of that adjustment layer. All previous uses, already in the timeline, will remain as they were before any changes. And as I promised, 
there's a simple way of visually differentiating the adjustment layers from titles. Right click on an adjustment layer, select Assign Video Roles. Select Edit Roles. Click the plus and add a role. And name that role Adjustment Layer. You can select different colours if you want to. Now each adjustment layer can be coloured by right clicking and selecting the adjustment layer role. And there's another advantage of using roles. Because roles can be turned off, you can disable all adjustment layers in one action if required. Open the index, select the roles tab, untick the adjustment layer role. Finally, I'll show you how to download and install the free adjustment layer templates. Click the link in the description below. On the web page, click the adjustment layers under the Final Cut Pro heading. A zip file will be downloaded, most likely to your downloads folder. Sometimes the zip files will automatically expand, but if not, double click the zip file to expand it into the adjustment layers folder. This folder needs to be placed in the Motion Templates folder on your computer. Select the Go menu in your Finder. Select the Home folder. Select the Movies folder. Select Motion Templates. Now drag the Adjustment Layers folder from the Downloads into the Titles folder inside Motion Templates folder. Now open Final Cut and select the Adjustments layer in the Titles in the left hand sidebar. Now you know about adjustment layers, you'll find them a convenient way of speeding up your more complex edits. I hope you found this information useful. Please like, subscribe and press the bell so I can make further video tutorials for you.